regreso aquí en Auto 060. Estamos llegando al último segmento de este show. Como siempre, les recomiendo que vayan a nuestra página de facebook.com slash auto 060, donde pueden ver toda la información relacionada a los temas de los cuales hemos hablado hoy. Y también al canal de YouTube, uh, Auto 060 en YouTube, para que vean sobre todo el uh, test drive de la... Um, Nissan Rock 2014. Y ahora vamos a hablar un tema que a veces no, nos olvidamos, que es el reciclaje de los subproductos que salen de los autos. En este caso, los inner tubes, las cámaras de aire que van eh, dentro de las llantas, en este caso de vehículos industriales. Y aquí esta compañía que se llama Necessary Recycling las está reconvirtiendo para utilizar backpacks, para hacer paquetes, para hacer estuches, para guardar el iPad, las computadoras y otro tipo de productos que son eh, no solamente muy atractivos, sino que están eh, ayudando a una causa muy necesaria que es proteger el medio ambiente. Así que aquí vamos con la entrevista sobre Necessary Recycling. So Kevin uh, from uh, Necessary Recycling, what a cool idea you got. Uh, I just, uh, I saw the, the, your video. And, and it's pretty amazing what you're doing. Can you tell us more about it, please? Sure. Um, we take large truck tire inner tubes, and we manufacture bags and accessories from them. We make backpacks, uh, messenger bags, iPhone cases, and, and travel bags from that. And this came from a company that we had started back in 2004, Um, and we had two investors, they were a married couple, they divorced, and we became a casualty of their divorce along with two other companies. So we had, uh, we restarted uh, with a different name and a couple of different products. Yeah, well, um, hopefully that won't happen again. <laughs> so, uh, yes. uh, so I, I'm reading 30 tons of inner tubes that are thrown away every year. I mean, that's a lot. I mean, uh, Tell us a little bit about oh, that. Yeah, go ahead. There's more than that. There's more than that. There's probably in the neighborhood of 50 million pounds of inner tubes. Wow. Throw away. And uh, so to tell me what the original idea, where did that came from? My girlfriend, who's also my partner, back in the late 90s, bought a backpack from a company that was doing similar things like this. They long since have disappeared. And she's been an entrepreneur for a long time, and she decided to make some designs out of the inner tubes. And I thought she was crazy. Uh, I was welding, so I went back to work. When I came home, she had gone in some tire places and got some discarded inner tubes. They were laying on my floor in my apartment, and she was cutting them up and hand sewing them. And I thought at that point, well, I guess she's not that crazy. <laughs> and it started out as kind of a hobby, and one thing led to another. And it, it is where it is now. So it was actually her idea. So you're already selling these uh, these backpacks and uh, cases and all that? Well, right now we are starting over from scratch. So we aren't selling. We've had some small local orders, but nothing to nothing speak of. We're not in any stores yet, and we're using Kickstarter to restart our new company. Oh, okay. And uh, let, let me talk about the product itself again, because again, I, I, you have a, a video which is pretty cool to see. And uh, one thing that uh, came came to mind uh, when I saw it, the material obviously is kind of rough, no? I mean, and, and very durable. That's a good quality for a backpack or something like that. But what about like rubbing against your clothing and anything like that? What's the process to to prepare the, the, the material to create a backpack or something like that? Okay, when we get the inner tubes, they're pretty, they're pretty nasty. They've been laying out. Uh, we, don't, we don't use any new ones that would kind of defeat the purpose of recycling. Yeah. So they're full of junk and mud. Right. And, and it's a long process to get them clean. Uh, we've got a proprietary uh, process that we seal the, the rubber so it doesn't rub off. And we also incorporate the bags aren't 100% inner tube rubber. We also use leather and we use other fabrics especially on the backpack, on your back part, that's not rubber because that would get a little hot. Um, so we use, you know, foam in there. Just like the back of our backpack is just like a regular backpack. Yeah. And the front of it is, is the rubber. And it is very durable. It's also very, very soft. And it, it looks like leather from a few feet away. A lot of people can't tell the difference. So they, so they actually hold the thing and they can feel it. Yeah. And uh, so what's the, the process itself? I mean, how, how many inner tubes you need to make a, a backpack? Oh, well, it depends on the size of the tube, and 
well, how many products. Normally, the tubes we use are pretty large because, as you know, they don't make inner tubes for car tires. So these are all farm equipment inner tubes, 18-wheeler tubes, and, and large trucks. So sometimes we can get two or three or four bags from one inner tube wow. at least. And and uh, and they're being uh, done by hand. I mean, how how's the process? How are you uh, manufacturing oh, yeah, yeah. them? Well, first we we collect all the inner tubes and then we sort them uh, according to size and we rough cut them. We cut them into workable pieces, and then those pieces are pre-washed to get a lot of the junk off. And then we cut patterns into those pieces. Then they're washed one more time, and then we start assembling the smaller pieces actually into the bag. And once the bag is complete, we use another process to buff the rubber and shine it up. Yeah. And that's, that's really it. And that, that takes uh, a couple of days sometimes. We do, we do quite a few pieces at once, and it'll take a couple of days to do that. Yeah. And how much are they if people want to buy them now? Uh, well, right now, our, ba our backpack sells for $98. Uh, we also have a really neat dad's case. Um, it's for any kind of business dad, um, and he doesn't want to carry the typical diaper bag that might have flowers on it or pink <laughs> or camouflage. Yeah. It looks like a messenger bag, and that one sells for $98 as well. We're trying to keep everything below $100 right now. Yeah, and uh, tell, uh, for people who don't know much about Kickstarter, can you tell uh, a little bit about it, please? It is uh, right now a, a, one of the top five crowdfunding websites Uh, and for, for people who don't know what crowdfunding is, um, it essentially you, it's a great way to directly market right to the consumer. You, you get on Kickstarter, you, you sign up, they give you, you allow to put up a video and you get a page and people, uh, they go in and, and you get a time limit. You can set your own time limit, 30 days or 45 days and then you decide on a number. So we, we're looking for $15,000. So at the end of 45 days, If we don't have enough pledges for $15,000, we don't get any money, but we don't lose anything. So, And how the pledges work, people can pledge from a dollar on up to as much as they want, and their reward actually is one of our products. Wow. So they're essentially buying a product, and their card doesn't get charged until the end of the time period when all the funding is 100%, then their card will be charged. If we don't reach that number, their card isn't charged. Yeah. So it's really not an investor relationship. It's a direct selling right to the consumer. It's a, it's a fabulous way and what uh, would, to do it. And what will you uh, use the $15,000 for? Uh, that will go right back into production and buying other materials and labor. We've got a few part-time people. Uh, we need supplies, cleaning supplies, cutting supplies, just the normal things for, for manufacturing, small manufacturing. Yeah. So can you uh, give us the website where people can uh, find out about it and like, hopefully help you on this? Sure, sure. Uh, when they go to the website, it's going gonna, it's gonna to send them right to Kickstarter, and all the information is there. But the website is, of course, www.necessaryrecycling.net. It's not .com, it's .net. Excellent. And it spells exactly the way it is, Necessary Recycling. Well, thank you very much, Kevin. Uh, the best of luck and uh, listen to your girlfriend, okay? And I hope you don't uh, don't end up like your original partners. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not, definitely. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much and congratulations. Y ahí esa fue la entrevista con Kevin Corvick eh, de Necessary Recycling. Eh, una buena iniciativa. Ojalá que pueda lograr su objetivo, que es reunir por lo menos 15 mil dólares para poder eh, eh, otra vez eh, reiniciar su compañía y seguir haciendo, eh, seguir produciendo estas eh, backpacks y otros productos con InnerTubes. Esto ha sido Auto 060, gracias a DJ Nino, que hoy nos ha ayudado aquí en la producción del show esta semana aquí. Y les invito otra vez a que vayan a facebook.com uh, slash auto 060. Yo soy Javier Mota y los espero en la próxima edición. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.